It, it's already 7.05 and it's 7.05. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey, Eva, I have my co-host right there. <laughs> Looking bored. <laughs> hey, Eva, wake up. Eva. Okay, anyway. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, July 25 already. What? Today. 23. No, sorry, 23. <laughs> I get that's a three. That's a three, yes. I get my dates crossed. Oh, boy. Okay, today we have a short gospel from St. Matthew, chapter 12, 46 to 50. So here's the story. While Jesus was preaching or speaking to the crowds, his mother, who is his mother? Mary, his mother Mary, and his brothers appeared outside. Who are his brothers? Well, you know, in the Jewish tradition, in the Jewish tradition, your next of kin, whether they be your siblings or your cousins or close relatives, they were all called brothers. Okay, so we have to understand this word in the proper context of the Jewish tradition. It doesn't mean to say that Jesus had other siblings. Okay? But his relatives who came to see him, appeared outside where he was speaking, wishing to speak to him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? It's not like he didn't know who his mother was and who his relatives are, right? But he had to ask them, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And then stretching out his hand towards his disciples, pointing to them, somehow they were in the crowd, and said, Here are my brothers. Here are my mother and my brothers why because jesus says for whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother this gospel reminds me of another gospel account where a, a woman praised the mother of our lord and said Blessed is the woman who nursed you and the breasts that gave you suck. See? So in other words, praising Our Lady for having produced such a son. But then what did our Lord say? Rather, blessed are they who hear the word of God and do it. So at first glance, it seems like Our Lord was ignoring Our Lady, right? Uh, in both accounts. It was like uh, as though our Lord was saying, nah, she's not important. The more important people are the ones who listen to my word and do my will. Okay? At first glance, that's how it might seem to appear. But if we try to understand what our Lord says here, what he's really saying is, well, you know, yeah, blessed are those who listen to the word of God and, and do it. Okay? And these are the ones who are really close to me. See? Because mother, brother, sister, those are the people who are closest to you, intimate with you. Right? They're the most intimate people you have. So our Lord says, the ones who are really intimate with me are the ones who listen to the word of God and do it. But come to think of it, who among all people, all creatures, has been the best in listening to God's word and fulfilling it. Who? In the whole history of mankind, who is the person who has done this best? Hmm? Mary. Our lady. Our mother Mary. Right? Our mother Mary. She, with her fiat, the, the way that she answered the angel Gabriel, fiat voluntas tua. See? I will be done to me just as you say it. 
Thy will be done according to your word. That's the same phrase and prayer and uh, that we pray every day at the angelus when we pray the angelus, right? We, we, and when we say the Hail Marys, we remind Our Lady of, of her fiat, of her having answered the, the call of God and responded very faithfully, fulfilling the will of God every day of her life. So this gospel today, far from it being a, uh, a, a, a way of ignoring Our Lady, Okay? or ignoring her importance in the life of our Lord, is actually a praise for Our Lady. See, our Lord is actually praising His own mother and praising all of those, hopefully including us, praising all of those and all of us who know how to be sensitive <clears throat> to the will of God, to what God wants from us every day of our lives, <clears throat> and actually fulfill it actually put it into practice okay so let's keep let's keep this uh, this gospel very uh, very uh, close to our hearts today and really take advantage of today to ask ourselves am i really following the will of god every day am i really being conscious and sensitive to what god wants me to do every day of my life Am I really listening to God? And that's not really difficult. Because God talks to us in many ways. First, in the intimacy of our prayer. Right? When we, when we do our personal prayer and we talk to our Lord individually and personally, such as when we do it in front of the Blessed Sacrament, excuse me, in the Adoration Chapel, or even in the privacy of our own thoughts and in our own room and our own um, you know um, time for ourselves when we talk to our Lord as I would encourage you to do to ask him all the time what do you want from me today what do you want me to accomplish today for you how do you want me to behave today okay. and there are other easy ways of knowing the will of God okay? one of which would be who would be a very good instrument to tell you the will of God for you every moment of the day. Can you remind me? Huh? Who? Speak. Huh? Your parents. Hey? Your parents are God's instruments to tell you every day, to remind you every day of His will for you. By, by telling you the things you need to do on, on a daily basis. Right? By reminding you of how you should conduct your lives every day and practice the virtues every day. Eh? Your parents or anybody else who is in authority over you. Eh? For those of you uh, in school, your teachers are your uh, uh, are, uh, instruments that God may use to, to uh, communicate His will to you. The circumstances that happen to us in our day, which... You know, can, can sometimes feel and, and uh, feel like, you know, they have no relation whatsoever to the will of God. But no, God arranges the circumstances of our lives in order to communicate with us, to tell us something that he might want to communicate to us all throughout the day. So we got plenty of indications around us of what the will of God might be. What we need to do is to learn to listen, to be sensitive, to learn to pay attention to what God wants by discerning the circumstances around us, by discerning what we hear from our parents, by discerning what we might hear from a priest who might be preaching a homily at Mass or wherever. Eh? Be sensitive to the things happening around you because that's the way that God communicates things to us. And how can you be sensitive? What does it mean to be sensitive and to be open and to, to be able to absorb the things that God wants from you? How can you do that? By, Sophia? By praying. See? By praying, by having an attitude of being 
constantly in a, in a state of prayer every day. It is to keep presence of God. That's what that, that means. To keep the presence of God in you and around you and before you and everywhere around you. Okay? To help you be mindful, be reminded of God. Okay? So it's to keep God's presence all the time. It is by praying all the time. And what is prayer? Prayer is nothing more but lifting up of our hearts and minds to God. It's talking to God. So you can talk to God. You can talk to Our Lady. You can talk to your guardian angels. You can talk to these spiritual uh, uh, beings, to the supernatural beings around you. See? Because God is there. God is everywhere. God is around us. God is with us. God is in us, in, in our soul in grace. We can talk to God. We can talk to His saints. We can talk to the other people uh, who have gone before us and have lived a life of sanctity that we can model after. See? The keep presence of God, to keep praying all the time. And that is the way that we are going to understand what God may want from us every day of our lives. Okay? So... Let's, let's be reminded of these things as we go about our day today and keep in mind this message of the gospel. Eh? And at the same time, pray, you know, praise Our Lady the way our Lord uh, did in today's gospel. And thank her for her fidelity. Thank her for her good example. Thank her for showing us what it means to listen to the Word of God and obey it. Okay? Eh? Okay, folks, that's it for us. We're off to Mass. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, Eva, say goodbye. Oh, she fell asleep already. <laughs> Eva, oh my gosh, I think she got bored. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Have a good day.